live from the news station. KBIA 7. Estella Cossus. Gary Warner. This is News 7 at 10. Fifteen different police agencies in the El Paso area gang up on the bad guys and do not come away empty-handed. Good evening and welcome to News 7's 10 at 10, 10 straight minutes of news. The target was a drug trafficking organization responsible for a recent rash of port running incidents at the international bridges between El Paso and Juarez. It seems the good guys hit the bullseye. The Drug Enforcement Administration reports seizing more than 7,000 pounds of cocaine and almost 2,600 pounds of marijuana. Investigators suspect the organization may have run more than 10 tons of cocaine into the U.S. in just the past year. In addition to drug smuggling, sub subjects arrested today are also suspected of kidnapping, extortion, torture, and numerous acts of violence. Officers executed more than 20 warrants today at 20 different addresses to arrest 15 individuals. Investigators say many of the suspects also hold memberships in at least three El Paso area street gangs. Agencies involved in the operation include the DEA, FBI, IRS, INS, U.S. Customs, U.S. Marshals, the Border Patrol, El Paso Police and Sheriff's Departments, the Texas DPS, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and the DEA expects to make more arrests. Uh, Las Cruces bank robbery has the FBI hunting for the suspect. Investigators say the North Main Branch White Sands Federal Credit Union was robbed at 547 this afternoon. Officials say the lone gunman vaulted the teller counter and calmly demanded money. He then fled as a passenger in a tan late model Toyota pickup. The robbery suspect is described as a white or Hispanic man in his early to late 20s, brown eyes, and a medium build. If you have any information, please call the FBI or the Las Cruces Police Department. A former Fort Bliss Army captain is looking at more than 41 years in prison after his sentencing today in El Paso Federal Court. 500 months is the punishment for 38-year-old Paul Dumpson. He was convicted last year on three counts of aggravated sexual abuse of a minor and three counts of kidnapping involving three teenage girls. The incidents occurred in the summer of 1993. Fort Bliss Captain Luis Rivera goes on trial for allegedly raping an enlisted woman. Lawyers today argued over whether the defense should be allowed to introduce evidence that prosecutors may have tampered with witnesses. Prosecutors allegedly threatened to file perjury charges against two witnesses unless they changed their stories and testified against Rivera. The judge in the case ruled that evidence will be allowed. The trial begins tomorrow. El Paso's federal racketeering trial started this week the same way it ended on Friday, with the defendant on the witness stand testifying on his own behalf. Today, 45-year-old Scott Siegel admits accepting more than three dozen checks from criminal defense attorney Gary Hill, but he says it was before he became jail magistrate in 1987. Siegel denies accepting bribes from Hill and contends the money was legitimate related to casework and a law book collection he had sold to Hill. Siegel's testimony resumes tomorrow morning. A major victory today for the prosecution in the O.J. Simpson trial. The judge ordered jurors to disregard for now half a dozen defense witnesses because Simpson's attorneys violated the law in withholding their names from the DA's office. But with that out of the way, defense attorney Johnny Cochran resumed his opening statement and wasted no time in alleging that L.A. police botched the job of collecting evidence. From their own studies, the LAPD's laboratory is a cesspool of contamination. Looking at their own records, the evidence will show that this the careless, slipshod, negligent collection, handling, and processing of samples. One of the defense witnesses excluded, at least temporarily, claims to have seen four men other than O.J. Simpson flee the scene of the murder. The scene shifts to the mayor's office tomorrow as the city of El Paso waits to find out who the next chief of police will be. Mayor Larry Francis plans to announce his nominee at an 8.30 a.m. news conference. Captain Russ Leach of the Los Angeles Police Department is apparently the only candidate. El Paso Deputy Chief Edward Ortega reportedly dropped out of consideration last week. City Council holds a special meeting Thursday to discuss the mayor's nominee. As of tonight, there are some new gambling opportunities at the Tiwa Speaking Rock Bingo Parlor. New 7's Robert Rodriguez is in the middle of the action and joins us now from El Paso's own little Las Vegas, Robert. Estella, the name of the game is Lucky Tab 2, and it's mainly in casinos on Indian reservations in states that don't sanction the gambling establishments. The only difference is that it's also electronic.
For $1, the video pull tab machine will give you a pull tab card and show you a video display of nine symbols. Whatever's on the screen will show up on your card. The order of the symbols determines who wins. Get a card full of sevens and you win $5,000. There are 12 other winning combinations worth from $1 to $1,000. For the first $3, I, I got those $75, and I have uh, quite a few bit more that I haven't checked yet, so I'm happy with it so far. Adagiel and droves of others couldn't seem to get enough of Lucky Tab 2. The video gambling game is permitted under the casino's National Indian Gaming Commission license and has gotten the okay from the U.S. Attorney's Office. This are legal machines, so we can play them, and uh, people can come out and enjoy them. And they really don't have to go to Las Vegas to get the excitement, and we have it here. All the screen is doing is helping the player identify the ticket that comes out of the machine. In two years, Speaking Rock has gone from a high-stakes bingo parlor to a casino which offers all takers, poker, blackjack, and now video gambling. The Tiguas would like to expand even more, but they can't until the U.S. Supreme Court says it's okay. Hopefully we can uh, get a decision from the Supreme Court. We can go on to have our casino. The Tiguas say they are trying to create an entertainment center for El Paso. Anyone's welcome, provided they have some money to spend. Uh, of course, if you don't have it, we don't want you to be here. Now, tonight, the money appears to be flowing rather freely at every one of the 50 newly installed Lucky Tab 2 games. Now, Robert, how do these machines differ from slot machines? Well, for one, these machines don't dispense any winnings, just simply the pull tab card. And for two, they don't give you random combinations. Each of these machines contains a roll of about 7,500 pull tabs with predetermined combinations, just like the scratch and win lottery cards that you might pick up at your neighborhood convenience store. Estella. Mm, thanks, Robert. Hope he's feeling a little lucky in play tonight. I think he might, yeah. <laughs> now, if you don't want to take the chance on the weather. Put your money on News 7's Rick Glancy. Rick? All right, we've got plenty of money in the Guarantee Weather Bank. We'll show you a little later on. Take a look at what we have for you, though, for tonight. Boys, you're going to get cold out there when you go to get the newspaper in the morning. 24 for an overnight low. Then tomorrow, beautiful, warm, or warmer in 64. Well, in the forecast a little later. Gary? Thank you, Rick. Now, eight and a half minutes after the hour as we continue with News 7's 10 at 10. New Mexico State Police report that a pickup truck slammed into the rear of a station wagon stalled in a traffic lane of I-10 West this evening. The impact left the pickup driver where the back seat of the station wagon had been. Ambulances took three injured to Las Cruces Memorial General Hospital, where their conditions are not yet available. 82% of Texans polled don't want a state nuclear waste dump in Sierra Blanca. The survey by Public Citizen shows Texans overwhelmingly oppose the dump, even if it would bring economic development to the area. Sierra Blanca residents joined Public Citizen for a news conference today at the Capitol to raise concerns about the potential for geological disaster. There are some serious geological problems with this site that indicate that there might be fault lines there, indicating that there may be leakage into the Rio Grande and into other aquifers that could contaminate uh, the area. Public Citizen is asking Congress and the Texas legislature to re-examine the agreement between Texas, Vermont, and Maine that would allow the waste from those two sites to be shipped to Sierra Blanca. Members of the Mescalero tribe in southern New Mexico decide tomorrow whether to support temporary nuclear waste storage on tribal land. Mescalero leaders have struck a deal with the power industry to accept spent fuel rods from about 30 nuclear reactors across the country. This would be a first-of-its-kind centralized nuclear storage site facility would store the radioactive waste above ground for up to 40 years. Our people need better paying jobs and longer lasting jobs, you know. Most of the people that work here work seasonally. We want to get away from that and this gives us the opportunity to do that. How do you spend a radioactive dollar? There is no way that you can clean up this mess once it has leaked out from the containers that it has been placed in. If the tribe votes to support the project, opponents promise a court fight. President Clinton hasn't given up the fight yet for a $40 billion aid package to Mexico. Clinton asked congressional leaders today to settle their differences and adopt the rescue legislation quickly. Clinton's theme is the hundreds of thousands of U.S. jobs that rely on trade with Mexico. Both House Speaker Newt Gingrich and Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole are talking more positively about the aid, but do not promise a timetable for action. 
And fears that Congress would not approve the aid for Mexico pushed the peso to a new record low against the dollar today. The peso finished at 6.25 to the dollar, down from 5.72 late Friday. And Mexico's stock market sank to its lowest level in nine months. With no votes to spare, a majority of five of nine Texas Supreme Court justices rule the way Texas pays for public schools is constitutional. For the first time since 1989, the court is not telling lawmakers to find millions or maybe even billions to equalize spending on students in rich and poor school districts. And for the first time, lawmakers needn't fear that the court might close the schools. Only one day left to pay El Paso property taxes, and that brought the crowds to City Hall today. News 7's Laura Palka reports. Like a snake, it winds around the first floor of City Hall. It's cruddy. It's awful. Lines like this would give anyone a headache. It's called hurry up and wait if you've waited till the last minute to pay your 1994 property taxes. If you have your account number and your, your property ID number, you can drop it at the drop box. Why'd you wait till the last minute? <laughs> We've been out of town. <laughs> yeah, for sure we have. We have been out of town. We just got back yesterday. Uh, now we're here to pay. Did you expect the line? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No, the first... we didn't expect the line. No. Last year, we came, and there was, there was no line like this. We got up there in front and whoop, sat down, and we were gone. This year, there seems to be no escaping this maze. We deal in large quantities of money, so we can't just come up the first of the month or even prior to that, so it, it takes us a long time. We always do wait till the last minute. <laughs> yeah, well, I had money till now, so. This year, the city tax office sent out 315,000 statements. One-third will be paid by mortgage companies. But many folks in line have property that's already paid off or prefer to pay taxes in cash and want a receipt. If you didn't get to play the waiting game on Monday, gather up your patience because there's going to be more long lines Tuesday. The tax office will be open again from 8 until 5. If you prefer, you can pay at any state national bank as long as you have the full amount and your statement. Or have your check in the mail and postmark by midnight tomorrow. Otherwise, your payment will be delinquent and the tax office will be busy calculating your 6% penalty and 1% interest. Laura Polka, News 7. Now 13 and a half minutes after the hour and you don't have to wait in line for more to come on News 7. Coming up, watch part one of The Healing Game, a three-part series on alternative medicine. We'll be right back. My job takes me to the outer fringes. I sell satellite dishes to people who can't get TV reception. Do about 250 miles a day. I sold to the Barlow's and the, the Reynolds, gone 165,000 miles. People wonder how I get to them, so I show them my Saturn. So far, I've sold 2,000 dishes and six Saturns. Who knows who I'll sell to next? You're gonna love this. This is my favorite product right here. I can mow everybody's yard in the whole neighborhood. Easy to maintain. It works great. It's Terminator 2. You open it up, pull it up, and get fresh bridge. The infant Walmart swing is better than a babysitter. My husband got one, and now our life is totally organized. Everyone should buy one. Everyone. My little brother loves these. You couldn't beat it. It just rides. And here's tonight's community calendar. Miniature houses on the agenda. The El Paso Public Library, the Silla Vista Library branch, by the way. February 1st to the 28th is when you can witness these tiny little itty bitty houses. Need more information? Call 591 6812. Don't go away. More new sports and weather to come. We chose fashions for the new 17 at the Popular, where you can pay one half of your monthly balance and owe no finance charge on your Popular Charge account. You know, finding the right pair of eyeglasses is a tough thing. At LensCrafters, I've got everything I need to help someone find a pair of eyeglasses that they'll really love. Whether it's lightweight lenses, comfortable fitting frames, it could be a specific shape, color, or certain price. Whatever my customers need. There you go. Oh, no, that's a better fit. Yeah. And we're lens crafters. The glasses are ready in about an hour, so my customers go home happy. Much lighter than I thought. If I've made it easier to find the right pair, then I'm happy too. LensCrafters, helping people see better, one hour at a time. 
When you're sick, where do you go for help? Well, most of us probably go to a medical doctor for conventional treatment. But many people turn to alternative medicine. Join us now for part one of the healing game. New 7's Alex Delgado has more on tonight's health cast. A morning walk and meditation are daily rituals for 55-year-old Phyllis Strock. Dietary regimen is a low-fat diet. I eat lots of vegetables and lots of fruit. Phyllis says her lifestyle connects the mind, body, and spirit. And it's also part of her way of battling cancer. She's in remission now, but almost three years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent a lumpectomy and radiation, but stopped her chemotherapy and refused hormone therapy. Instead, she came to a center that refers cancer patients seeking alternative therapies. An acupuncturist or an herbalist. Alternative medicine is often defined as any medical practice that lacks documentation in the U.S. for safety and effectiveness, is not usually taught in medical schools, and generally not covered by insurance. For example, chiropractic, acupuncture, and reflexology, which claims to heal through foot massage. I have seen it not work at all, but when it works, it works like a charm very often. I think that it won't be harmful to the patient. I'll give the patient that approval. So if you think you want to try alternative therapy, always see a doctor for proper diagnosis and advice. Beware of miracle cures and check the credentials of anyone practicing alternative therapy. Alex Delgado, News 7 HealthCast. Weather is just ahead and so is your guaranteed high for tomorrow. News 7's Rick Glancy has all the numbers and what they mean next. Looking for an affordable new car? At just $179 per month with zero down, the Kia Sophia is just what you're looking for. Yes, at Hoy Fox Kia, you get a lot of car with no down payment and only $179 per month. How about an affordable sport utility vehicle? Hoy Fox has got it. Introducing the brand new Kia Sportage 4x4. With all of this equipment, it's only $14.9. Don't settle for a used car. You can have a new Kia for less at Hoy Fox Kia. of Seattle is as progressive as the people. Listen to Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Nirvana, Screaming Trees, Tad, Alice in Chains, or Mudhoney. Catch Candlebox at Rock Candy, or hang at the Crocodile Club. Where else can you get the Seattle sound? Best Buy. They don't sell flannel, but they do sell every CD for $11.99 or less, and thousands more under $10. Some places are known for great music. Best Buy is one of them. I love Little Caesar's Crazy Dippers. Always like dipping things. Dip these in bronze. Remember that spot? Morning, Bruce. I guess I'm a crazy dipping fool. Right, hon? Like to dip things? Try Little Caesar's Crazy Dipper Deal. Two pepperoni pizzas for $7.99 and 16 crazy bread dippers and two sauces free. Pizza, pizza. And now, News 7 Weather with Rick Glency. Great job in guarantee weather today by our very own Gary Monday last night. Take a look. Uh, he went for 53 and actually hit uh, 54. I'm sorry, hit, went for 54 and hit 53. Must be Monday. The tongue's in one direction, the mind's in another. Difference of one, $105 of the bank. That's all you care about. How much money is in the bank? $105. Satellite picture for you tonight. Dome of high pressure around. Next system coming on shore in the Pacific Northwest will probably ride over the top of the high. And every once in a while, some clouds will come in and kind of dirty the skies for us. But we see clear skies from all the way in the deep southeast back to the southwest. So things are looking relatively nice over the next 24 hours. In fact, with the ridge of high pressure in place like this in the Four Quarters area, the next system coming over the top of it, I do believe this high will be strong and massive and powerful, and that means lots of sunshine and warmer temperatures headed our way. In fact, we're going to see readings pop into the 70s, believe it or not. Satellite picture from the Albuquerque uh, sector kind of shows how things have cleared out for a good part of tonight. And then every once in a while, a couple of clouds come into play out towards the Four Corners area. And we mentioned that with the ridge of high pressure here, every once in a while, some high clouds will come moving over the top of this thing. So here's what it looks like uh, kind of around the three-state region for tomorrow. 74 in Tucson, 67 in the Lubbock area, 70 in Midland for a high, and 67 in Dallas. Going to Austin, look for 67, Presidio 69. Going anywhere in this area, look out, uh, plenty of sunshine. 
and quite warm around here. Now, in the region for tonight, it's going to be cold. Down to 27 in TRC, 16 in Rio de 17 in Cloudcroft, about 25 in Guadalupe Pass, 17 in Sierra Blanca, and 22, some very cold ducks uh, tonight. Tomorrow, they'll warm up to 66, a little splash there, 64 in Hatch, 65 in Alamogordo, 58 in Rio Doso, a cool one in Cloudcroft, 47 there, 59 for Sierra Blanca, 64 for our friends in Fabens, and 64 in Van Horn with 57 in Guadalupe Pass. Here's what's happening for us right now. It is clear outside, and the temperature, believe it or not, is at 45 degrees right now. And the winds really aren't all that strong enough uh, to produce a wind chill at this hour. So things are looking okay. We've got clear skies in our forecast, as I mentioned. The temperature is at 45. The barometer is holding steady. I, I think we're going to see it here any moment now. No, we're, we're not going to see it any moment now. It's one of those things in television. All right, take a look at the Metro forecast now for tonight and tomorrow. Going with cold tonight. 22 in Anthony, 23 for our friends in Santa Teresa, and as you can see, uh, down in the Clint area, it'll be cold, about 22 there. But tomorrow, sunny and warm, and a high of 63 there, 64 in Las Cruces. For us tonight, 24 for an overnight low. Uh, no water tonight, and yes, you can burn. And then tomorrow, sunny and warmer, and a high of 64. Sunrise at 7 o'clock sharp, sunset 538, and tomorrow's an even water day. Seven-day outlook, I, I couldn't stand it. I had to throw some clouds in there for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but it's just... A few passing clouds, but look at that, 71 on Wednesday, 69 on Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, 67 to 65. That's still way above normal for this time of the year. It's still night, but tonight will be a double blanket night. You think, oh, for you, yeah. Well, for me, of course. Yeah, yeah. I me, I just, I'm not going to even worry about it. Yeah, right. Up next in New 7 Sports, <laughs> the 49ers won the war, but they're losing a battle. And the Utah basketball team is on a minor losing streak. We'll tell you why there's no reason to panic. Lose up next. Corner of I-10 at Lee Trevino. Shamali Ford. This to Chevrolet. We Fox Toyota. The Trevino Savings Triangle kicks off 95 with a Super Bowl Super Sale. Through January 31st, the Triangle will be open late to give you a chance at super savings on over 500 pre-owned cars and trucks starting at just $19.95. Plus, all remaining 94s have been reduced for instant liquidation. Factory rebates, special financing, and a super selection. Everything goes now at Holy Fox Toyota. Shamali Ford. This to Chevrolet. The Trevino Savings Triangle. For decades, oil was the lifeblood of Texas. It created jobs and shaped our culture. Today, we have an opportunity to make telecommunications the oil and gas of the future. Southwestern Bell is prepared to make over a billion dollars available for telecommunications infrastructure that will fuel our economy with 70,000 new jobs. In today's competitive world, the status quo isn't good enough. That's why Southwestern Bell is bringing the technology of tomorrow to Texas today. Pass the pasta, pass the pasta, pass the pasta, if you please. Pass it now, it's pasta, please. Pasta had Applebee's. A sauce, Alfredo, a shrimp, linguine, lasagna with three kinds of cheese. And you can share a marinara. Pass the pasta, please. So, pass the pasta, pass the pasta, pass the pasta, please. Pass the pasta. You just have to. Pass the pasta. question. Pass the pasta. Pass the sauce. Pass the pasta, please. America's favorite neighbor, Applebee's. Several years ago, Sierra began a dialogue with physicians, employers, and payers. We wanted to find responsive solutions to emerging health care needs, then back them with a kind of experience, standards of performance, and commitment to advanced technology that is our hallmark. Maybe that's why more than 180,000 El Pasoans include Sierra in their health plan. Sierra Health Network, designed for managed care performance. Sierra Medical Center, a step ahead. iMasters has a really big offer right now. All frames are 50% off. Even their best designer frames are half off. All frames are 50% off at iMasters. And now, News 7 Sports with Lou Romano. He loves it. They love him, finally. Steve Young and the world champs parading down the streets of San Francisco. More on that in a second, but first, hottest team in the NBA, Orlando, no, Phoenix, no, Knicks, no, it's Utah, Jazz, dancing with the Wolves tonight, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Stockton to Malone, Stockton to Malone, that's all they ever have, but now, it's David Benoit, in for the jam, Jazz win again, 115-80, Malone 25, Stockton 14 assists, they've won 13 straight, elsewhere, Suns at the Cavs, Charles, lining up a three, 
and he gets it. He had 20 points. A little bit later, Charles again, same spot. Uh, oh, behind the back to Danny Ainge. Yeah, very nice. Angie hits the three. Uh, Angie called Danny Ainge. Angie. <laughs> Suns win it 89 82. I love him. Don't forget that. Phoenix uh, has yet to lose two in a row all year. College ball. They said the Big East is back. Two teams in the top 20. Another two in the top 10 tonight. Number 13, Georgetown, hosting number 10, Syracuse. And Jimmy Behind wants some defense. And he gets it. Michael Lloyd, a strip, the steal, the length, the jam. Syracuse rallies to take a one point lead at the break. Second half, here come the Hoyas. John Jacques hits a three. G Town by one. It's seesawed back and forth, but I think the orange watched a little too much TV yesterday. Final score, the Q's does it. 76 75. They're 9 and 1 in the Big East. Two other games in the top 25 tonight. UMass beats the Bonnies, and number 18, Mizzou, stuns number 11, Iowa State. As for New Mexico State, the Ags drop out of the AP poll after that home loss to Pacific, and MSU had been ranked number 24. Meanwhile, the Miners remain loose despite a three-game losing streak. The worst that's come out of this is a tie for third. They're still right in the thick of things with their biggest games to come, so they're fine. We played well, so I'm not disappointed in our team at all, because I told all the fellas after the game that uh, I said, I'm not disappointed at all. You know, we got three games, three home games now at home, and uh, New Mexico, BYU, and Utah all have to come to El Paso and play us. And uh, it's not like we went on the road and made a flop. It seemed like we've been going forever. It feels funny coming back here on, the, on our home court. So um, the attitude going in, you know, we're going to go in. We're, going to look, we're looking forward to BYU first. We're not going to try to overlook them or anything. We're going to try to come in and try to get one game at a time. Miners, by the way, host first place BYU on Thursday. Then Utah comes in on Saturday. NFL News reports out of Denver say 49er offensive coordinator Mike Shanahan has been offered the head job with the Broncos. Shanahan hasn't confirmed it, but he did speak with the Broncos owner Pat Bowen last night. Shanahan, by the way, a former coordinator with the Broncos and a good buddy of John Elway's. Back in Frisco, took the city lesson 24 hours after the game was over to organize a victory parade. Jerry Rice and Dion. And then, of course, my favorite 49er athletes of all time. What grace, what poise. And what am I doing? I have no chance. I think it's because I'm going bald. Maybe that's it. You just don't have a ticket for the trolley. That's, that's what your problem is. 49ers, win it again next year. I'll get that ticket. <laughs> Unless the Cowboys do something. Thanks, Luke. There's still more to come on News 7 and 10. Across the river, the meter is running. Final 15 days. The gigantic retirement sale at Las Cruces Furniture is almost over. Every item in their huge remaining inventory is now priced for immediate liquidation and removal. The waiting is over. The time to act is now. Living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, anything for any room. It all must be turned into cash in a matter of days. Absolutely no reasonable offer made on anything left will be refused, denied, or turned away. Final 15 days. 40 years of current management is changing hands and coming to an end. Bring a truck and find what you want. Reports OJ's attorney Johnny Cochran beat his wife, plus Jim Carrey or Brad Pitt. You vote for Hollywood's hottest leading man on Hot Coffee Next. New Seven Hairstyles, courtesy West End Hair Company. Dear foreign car owners, when it comes to fixing brakes, foreign cars aren't foreign to Midas. That's why we offer same day brake service and guaranteed brake shoes and pads for as long as you own your car. Save $20 on any brake service at Midas. That's $20 off brake service for any car at the Midas International Brake Sale. Bill gets broke on and taller that the time you're going to wear the drums afford. KXCR presents the six-time Grammy Award-winning Pat Metheny Group. Miss the innovative and inspiring music of the Pat Metheny Group at the El Paso Convention Center, featuring guitar synthesizer pioneer Pat Metheny. The Pat Metheny Group performing Wednesday, February the 15th. Tickets at Ticketmaster Outlets. Look at this. 
Now look at it closely. Look at it from an angle. In plaid. In stripes. In the bottom right corner. No matter how you look at it, $189 a month is a great looking payment for a brand new 95 Ford Escort. Three door, four door, five door, or wagon. For a limited time with a thousand cash back, you can buy your choice for just $189 a month with dual airbags, air, stereo, and more. There may never be a better time to buy a Ford Escort. So get to Casa Mesa or Shamali Ford this week because you can only look at this low payment for a limited time. I've been thinking about it. Lou and the San Francisco cheerleaders. Not even a chance. <laughs> Here's what we have for you in our current conditions. We do have a chance to show it to you one more time. Clear in 45. Pressure holding steady. Winds out of the west at 17. Dew point at 17 degrees. Guarantee high for tomorrow, 64. And over the next seven days, lots of sunshine. Temperatures actually get a chance to hit 71 on Wednesday, 67 on Friday. Estella? You had to think about that one? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. And finally tonight, a first for what is taxis? Meters. Believe it or not, drivers would determine their fares according to their client's appearance. In an effort to avoid further abuse, the state will require taxis to have meters by March. Now everyone will pay about 70 cents for the service and about 70 cents per mile. All 1,400 taxis should have their meters in place by next month. So the next time you call for a taxi, you won't have to bargain to get to your destination. So now you know. They're also going to put those child-proof locks on the back doors. <laughs> and you can't leave. You, can't, you got to pay. It's big enough. Right. You don't get out. That's right. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hope it's not a New York. You're watching KVIA-TV Channel 7, El Paso.